Hello guys, in this video we'll show you how to fix when keyboard backlight is not working in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check for any hardware issues like external keyboard test or you can also do laptop keyboard inspection. Alternatively, you can also update your laptop driver. Number 2. Enable the keyboard backlight from the control panel. For this, type control panel in the window search box. After that, select hardware and sound under view by category. Then the windows mobility center option can be found and just simply chosen. Then adjust the backlight brightness to a preference using the slider. After that, just test the keyboard backlight to see if it's now functioning correctly or not. Number 3. Update your keyboard drivers. For this, press window key plus R to open the run dialog box. Then in the run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open device manager. Then in the device manager window, just expand the keyboard section. After that, right click on keyboard driver and choose uninstall driver from there. Make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option if it's pop up. Then go to the top menu in device manager and under the actions tab select scan for hardware changes the driver should appear back in the list if it does not don't worry just simply restart your pc and it'll appear back after that right click on keyboard driver again and choose update driver and select search automatically for drivers window will automatically scan for available driver updates and download them after that just simply restart your pc to apply the changes Number 4. Use Keyboard Troubleshooter. For this, open settings by pressing Windows plus I key together. Then, select the System tab and click on the Troubleshoot option. After that, click on Other Troubleshooters. Then, click on Run in front of the Keyboard Troubleshooter option. Number 5. Run the Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter. For this, again display the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows key plus R. Then, in the Run box, Type msdt.exe slash id device diagnostic and press enter. After that, click on next to run the troubleshooter. Number 6. Restart Windows Explorer. For this, access the task manager by pressing shift plus control plus escape or alternatively you can also right click on taskbar and select task manager from there. Then in the task manager window, navigate to the processes tab. And after that, select Windows Explorer from there. Then, right click on Windows Explorer and select the restart option. Number 7. Check for Windows updates. For this, press Windows plus I key to open the Windows settings. Then, click on Update and Security option from there. In the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left hand side menu. After that, Click on check for updates option and let windows search for any available updates and will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer and check if the brightness control function key is functioning correctly or not. Number 8. Perform a clean boot. For this, press window plus R key to again open the run dialog box. After that, type msc onfig and press enter to open the system configuration. After that, in the system configuration window, Go to the Services tab. Then, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services and click the Disable All button. Next, go to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. Then in the Task Manager window, disable all the startup program by right-clicking on each entry and selecting Disable option from there. Then, close the Task Manager and go back to System Configuration window. After that, just simply click OK and restart the computer. Number 9. Check for third party software conflicts. For this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the task manager. Then go to the startup tab from there. Disable any third party software that you suspect might be causing conflicts and with the keyboard backlit. Then restart the computer. And after that, test the keyboard backlight to see if the issue is resolved or not. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.